very good morning students and welcome back to your english class today we are going to take a poem from a first term textbook sorry we have missed that chapter okay the title of the part is poem is the violet do you know what is this this is a flower right you can see a picture there picture of the flower violet flower okay violet is a flower okay this poem is written by jane taylor okay let us read the poem down in a green and shady bed a modest violet grew its stalk was bent it it hung its head as if to hide from view and yet it was a lovely flower its colors bright and fair it might have graced a rosy bow instead of hiding there yet there it was content to bloom in modest tints arrayed and there diffused its sweet perfume within the silent shade then let me to the valley go this pretty flower to see that i may also learn to grow in sweet humility Okay, through this poem, the poet Jane Taylor is pointing out to us about the need of being humble and polite. Here, violet is a beautiful flower, but its stalk is when its head is hung downwards. What it resembles? It resembles about its uh, politeness. each man each and every man should learn modesty modesty means what means humility or smallness okay each and every man should learn modesty from the beautiful violet flower despite its beauty it's hung downwards or its stalk is bent so every man should learn contentment or what satisfaction and humility from the violet flower okay its beauty despite its beauty it is showing its humble character by bending its stalk down okay that's all about the poem it's about how beautiful is the flower and how it shows its politeness by bending the stalks down despite its beauty and beautiful fragrance it is bent down to show its modesty okay once again what is the poem about it's a poem about the flower violet which is bent downwards to hide from the view of others okay it can be uh, grown in a beautiful or well arranged place but it is hiding instead right and despite its beauty it is showing his its modesty or satisfaction okay i will send you the questions sections through whatsapp okay now let us move on to the let us take the next chapter from our term to textbook okay now take page number 16 of your term 2 textbook uh second chapter is bible the wise okay now let me start the chapter there once lived a rich man in agra he was a miser people who visited him requesting for some kind of charity always went back disappointed he gave them false promises and never kept his word one day a poet named raidas visited the rich man and read his poems out to him hoping to get a big reward the man the rich man enjoyed listening to all the poems and asked raidas to come the next day to collect some gifts raidas went away pleased with the rich man now here we are talking about a rich man where did he lived he lived in 
ஆகிட்ட ஹி வாஸ் எ மைசர் யூ நோ வாட் இஸ் எ மைசர் மைசர் இஸ் எ மேன் ஹூ ஸ்பென்ஸ் ஆன்லி ஒரு பர்சன் ஹூ ஸ்பென்ஸ் ஆன்லி லிட்டில் மணி மீன்ஸ் பிஷுக்கன் இட் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் மைசர் ஓகே எ ரிச் மேன் லீவ்ட் இன் ஆக்ரா அண்ட் ஹி வாஸ் எ மைசர் அண்ட் மெனி பீப்புள் கேம் டு ஹம் டு ஆஸ் ஃபோர் சேரிட்டி சேரிட்டி ஃபார் வாட் யூ நோ வாட் இஸ் சேரிட்டி மீன்ஸ் கிவிங் மணி ஓர் சம்திங் தட் இஸ் இன் நீட் ஃபார் ஹெல்பிங் த நீடி பீப்புள் ஓகே ஓகே வென் சம் ஒன் கேம் ஃபோர் கேம் டு ஹஸ் ஹவுஸ் ரிக்வெஸ்டிங் ஃபார் சேரிட்டி தே ஆல் வென் பேக் டிஸப்பாயிண்ட் பிகாஸ் தே சென் ஹி சென் தம் பேக் without helping them he gave them false promises and never kept his word he always promised them that i will give that or i will give this but he never kept his promise one day a poet named raidas visited the rich man and his po- read his poems out to him one day who came a poet came to the rich man's house and who was he what was his name his name was raidas and what he did he read his poems to him but he really enjoyed the poems but what did he do he didn't pay anything the poet hoped that he will be rewarded with good gifts but what did the rich man do he sent him from there and asked him to come the next day and he went happily hoping that next day he will be rewarded for his poems however the next day the rich man behaved as if he had never met raidas earlier when raidas reminded him of his promise the rich man replied harshly that raidas did not understand human nature okay and the next day raidas came to her rich man's house but how did he behave to raidas okay that he behaved that he had never seen raidas before and raidas reminded him of the promise he had given last day but the rich man treated him very badly he replied very harshly harshly means rudely and raidas went back rich man had really wanted to honor him he would have done so the very same night raidas had been offered a reward only to encourage him and not because the rich man was really impressed okay if raidas was really impressed what he will do he would have given the reward on the first day itself but it is only to encourage him so that's why he had uh, replied him or treated him very harshly raidas left the house upset he met babel on his way home he, he narrated the incident to him babel thought for a while and then hit up on a plan he instructed raidas to approach his good friend mayadas for help now raidas well felt the house very sadly he is very sad with the behavior of the rich man now he met whom birbal on his way back to home now he told all the things that happened from the rich man's house and birbal gave an idea to him he asked him to get help from his good friend mayadas as per the plan mayadas went to the rich man and invited him for dinner stating that it was a special occasion he planned to serve the guests in a golden plate which guests could take home after the meal the rich man was overjoyed to hear this and readily accepted the invitation <coughs> now they had planned something beautiful raidas and mayadas had planned something so mayadas went to the rich man's house and invited him for a for dinner and stated him that it is a special occasion and he stated that he is planning to save the 
food to the guests in a golden plate and the guests can take the golden plates with them after the meal on the appointed day the rich man went to mayada's house mayada's uh, sorry the rich man was very happy to hear the mayada's invitation now okay on the appointed day the rich man went to mayada's house and he was surprised why the only other guest was raidas the poet who came to the rich man's house before okay and raidas and mayada spoke very politely to him but they are not serving any food and they pretended that he had no idea about the dinner in dinner invitation now raidas then asked the rich man whether he had proof of the invitation now raidas asked him for the proof of invitation now the rich man has no words to say why now mayadas stated that he just invited him and what he is not really meant he really, really didn't meant to uh, give him dinner he just invited him okay he also said that even though they did not do anything good for other people they would never try to hurt another human being bible then walked into the room and pointed out to the rich man that he himself had meted out the same treatment to raidas what did mayada say they might not do anything good for others but they will never hurt others and who came to the room now birbal came to the room and pointed out that the rich man also did the same to the poet raidas the rich man realized his mistake and begged for forgiveness he said that raidas was a good poet and had not asked him for any reward he himself had promised to give him some gifts and then had and had then deprived him for them of them then he took off the necklace that he was wearing and gifted it to raidas they all enjoyed a happy meal together <coughs> now the rich man has realized his mistake and he apologized to the poet now he said that raidas is a great poet and he didn't ask me for any rewards i had offered him to give good gifts after reciting the poems but what did he do i have uh behaved him or treated him very harshly and he apologized him and gave his necklace to raidas he was wearing a necklace and he gifted that to raidas and they had enjoyed a good meal together raidas thanked bebel sincerely emperor akbar also invited him to his court and honored him for his poetry birbal really was a wise man now raidas has thanked bebel for uh, getting helping to get him his gifts akbar emperor akbar also invited him to the court invited the boy to the court and honored him for his poetry bebel was really a brave and nice wise man okay now that's all about the story the story is about a rich man who is also a miser and he gave false promises to the people who approached them approached him and he never kept his promises one day he cheated a poet uh, telling that he will uh, gift him some rewards or he will give him some rewards after reciting the poems but he didn't keep his promise now birbal helped him to get the gifts and realize the rich man's mistake okay that's all about the story okay i will send you the exercise section to whatsapp so take your page number 19
Before we study what subject verb agreement is, let us first quickly revise what subjects and verbs are. You know what is a verb and what is a subject, right? Verb is an action word or doing word. For example, eat, sleep, run, play, or all verbs. This tells us what we are doing. Eating, sleeping. This is. These are the actions that we do, right? So, these action words or doing words are called verb. Now, a subject is the person or thing that does the action. For example, in sentences such as I eat, she sleeps, Jory runs and we play. I, she, Jory and we are all the subjects because they perform an action. Now, what is a subject? Means, subject means it is the person or thing that does the action in a sentence. Here some examples are given. I eat. Here I is the subject because it does the action here. She sleeps. She does the action here. Okay. Now she is the subject and sleep is the verb here. Now a verb can change if the subject changes it in its, in its number. Look at the following sentences and see how the verb play changes. Peter plays football. First sentence is Peter plays football. Second is the students play football. Now, always the subject and verb is related. If we are using the singular subject, we will be using the singular verb. If it is singular plural subject will use the plural verb here peter's peter is singular means one only one person there so we say singular verb means plays and s will be there at the end with the singular verb right here the students play football students means more than one is there so it is plural so students play football play is also plural verb right so if you are using a singular subject you will have to use the singular verb and if it is a plural subject we will have to use the plural verb in the first sentence we use the verb plays because only one person is playing in the second sentence we use the verb play because more than one are playing therefore in a sentence the verb must always agree with the subject Remember, single subject is equal to single verb and plural subject is equal to plural verb. In the box, it is given person verb object. Here, it shows how a verb changes when we use a singular verb and a plural, sorry, a singular subject and a plural subject. There are some filling the blanks questions. Now you have to write the correct verb from the box above. There are some sentences given below. Now you have to choose the correct verb from the box. Next is, a simile compares two different things using words such as like, as, or that. Example, John is as brave as a lion. Means, simile means a word that compares two different things using words such as like as or than here we are comparing john with lion and here we are comparing about the braveness right so we are using the word like or as here john is as brave as a lion so we are comparing the braveness or bravery of two different things john and lion with the word like or as or them here we are using the word as now in metaphor is it is also comparing two words but we do not use the words like as like or them here there is an example John has the heart of a lion here also we are comparing about the heart or the mind but we didn't use the words like 
as like or than now here also there are some sentences given below in simile we use the words like which words such as like as or than and in metaphor we use words such as we does not use words such as like or or than so now you have to read in the sentences you have to mark it whether it is a simile or a metaphor page number 22 do you know what is a notice is a notice gives information to people about an important event that has happened or is about to happen look at the following notice that was put up in the school notice board here there is a model or format of a notice okay notice means to give information about an important event event that has happened or which is going to happen okay there here is the format of a notice model senior secondary school 2nd october 2019 notice trip to varanasi the history club is organizing a four day trip to varanasi on 16th october 2019 those who are interested in joining the trip should re register with the undersigned on or before 10th october 2019 each student joining the trip needs to pay 800 rupees ruba secretary history club now here is a notice about a trip to varanasi like that using the same format you have to do another or you have to prepare another notice in your notebook your class is organizing an art exhibition write a simple notice to invite all the other classes of your school to come for the exhibition besides other details make sure that you include the place time and date of the in exhibition in your notice okay have you understood you must include the place time and date okay of the exhibition and you have to write a notice on inviting other class students for the exhibition that is conducted that's going to be conducted by your class okay that's all for your class today thank you